boom that's so satisfying and you know even for myself anytime i open up my minivan and i kind of peek inside i'm thinking wow what really is going on in here and well hello there everybody i hope you're all having a good day i found myself a really cool spot hey guys how you doing so i'm here at the gas station you know what? I love the fact that I was able to fix my own window. I thought I'd just let you guys know that. And right over here is where I keep my stuff. I take that with me all the time. And you know what? For today, I won't have my lavalier. I think that's what it's called. That thing that I that I put on. Or maybe I might have it on when I'm driving. I'm not really sure because it's too much work for me to actually use at this time. So we got some gasoline, so that was good. And got it at about a dollar fifty-two, and so it's gone down quite a bit from when it was just going going crazy. And I'm hoping that the gas cost will, fuel cost will will go down even more. So maybe the next time I'm going to do, maybe I'll, I'll get myself a little drink. And here we go. I'm realizing I'm probably going to be enjoying the last of the summer days in the next couple of weeks just because it is getting colder the mornings are getting colder and I you know autumn will be here soon right and one of the things I'd like to do is be able to head out to Algonquin Park because I understand up there the fall colors are just amazing but I also believe there are other places other than Algonquin Park where where we could go and it'll be just as beautiful in many ways. I heard that the Don Valley Parkway in Toronto apparently is quite beautiful. So, um, see that car just behind me right now? He's literally or rather, rather, they are literally parked right on the line, the apex. And not that it bothers me greatly, but it's really strange when, when people do that. And I kind of wonder why they do that. You know what? I don't even know if I'm going to place this in my video. But if I do, it's like these little things, like to me, being able to park between the lines is extremely important however sometimes maybe you can't maybe something's happening with your day but a lot of times i think it's just they just don't care right oh well and this is one of the things that i've learned as i've gotten older and i did make a video about getting older as i've gotten older i've learned to sort of just let things roll off my back and i think i'm better for it in many ways there are some things that I will not allow to go beyond, but for most things, I think it's better that I've learned this wonderful technique where whatever, right? It's not worth sort of investing any time or emotion in it. But uh, that's just one thing about what I've been doing more and more as I get older is it's probably a coping mechanism. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go get my drink. And in addition to my other drinks and stuff, like that tea, this is one of my favorites. It's called bubble tea. Not sure if you guys like it, but this one here is from Kung Fu Tea. And it's one of those things that, you know, if I wanna treat myself, okay, I get one of these and I just completely enjoy it. It's definitely, to me, it's, it's a it's a treat and I get it every so often and today would be the day and I say today would be the day because last week was just total insane I've got a video that I'm gonna be posting it kind of explains what happened it was extremely stressful for me but ultimately everything worked out and oh, wait a sec maybe I'm, I've already posted it I'm not sure but anyway look I was stressed out and we all have a different way of coping in the, in, the, in the previous clip there I talked about coping mechanisms and we're, we're all different right you know uh, as long as your coping mechanism isn't destructive I think you know if you got to do it then do it 
so going back to this bubble tea, one of the things I do is I put it upside down and I just let everything kind of sink to the very top. I'll also shake it. And if I shake it, it kind of gets all the, um, the tapioca. And I, I really like that tapioca stuff. It it's, tastes great for me. But wait, I think a very good thing would be so you guys could actually see my van as it is with no cleanup because sometimes for example if I'm doing a little van tour I will clean up a bit just to sort of get an idea of what it's supposed to look like but on a daily basis I'll show you my van right now so from the top over here wait a sec over here so this is where I keep that little radio over here is where I'm going to be keeping that light that I got from Blaze Originals these guys Blaze Originals and here's that unit I unboxed it in a previous video it's just so cool oh ouch ouch okay so anyway yikes hold on so here I'm gonna try to figure out a way to actually mount it somewhere there I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna do it sorry for the horrible camera work just gonna put that back here there we go so here it is we're gonna go across and obviously you see my ceiling and up here is where I keep my foodstuffs and over here was the fabled sink that I rarely use the the sink still works I've got some water and I think it's important for you guys to know that I'm also I have a wide-angle lens so the space looks re bigger than it really is and you should know that it's really really a tiny space and this is what my van looks like on the daily not too neat you you've got that happening there that thing's open i've got that second fan i've got the fan just there usually it's mounted over there but this is what it looks like right now it's it is a little messy but you know it's really comfortable for me and and really that that that's all that really matters for me is you know i what wherever i am i i want to be comfortable obviously i want it to look neat as well but Comfort to me is, is more important. Um, yeah, being comfortable is very important. I think it's time for me to have my my bubble tea. Here's the straw and the way it works is you just sort of open it up and the, you literally, you, you stab this at the top and then, you know, you can drink out of it. And we're going to just, this kind of thing, watch. Boom, that's so satisfying. It's so cool. I can actually feel a breeze going through and it almost feels like it's about to rain. And I'm looking at the clouds and it looks like it's going to rain. And you know, it's been said, sometimes doing nothing is exactly what you need to do. And I'm a big proponent of that. Yeah, I am. I mentioned it in a previous video and I think I've talked about it before that there's so much happening in hustle culture like sort of like you got to get this you got to get that then you have to do all these things and while while I do applaud the efforts that people put forth in improving their lives I think I think it's important to sort of slow down sometimes because you know that's you're just gonna burn out at some point and there's just to me lately and maybe it's because of the social media that's I'm being targeted with I understand that depending on on what links you click on and depending on what it is you're looking for in terms of maybe something I don't know what the algorithms pick it up and then they sort of push these things towards you like they suggest for example on my Instagram they're always suggesting people that I know and I'm thinking well I kind of know them but I kind of don't know them and it's sort of and they sort of they're there because they know people that I know and and it almost seems it almost doesn't make sense for me to to sort of follow or, or friend them because you know there's nothing there I'm, I'm not even sure who they are uh, and, 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 and maybe maybe that's 
me just being being cautious, right? Okay. You know, you know, on the internet, I remember reading a comic. It says one to the effect, on the internet, nobody knows like you're a dog, so like nobody knows who you really are. And the cartoon had this dog surfing the internet, and you know, there, there's a point where you know you do have a meetup, which is always good. Oh, which by the way, I am looking forward to trying to meet, get out to some of the uh, van build or van meetups and I, I've yet to go to one I think um, uh, this year I'm gonna try to head out to one of them uh, next year probably much more because I think I'll have better circumstances uh, hopefully I won't be like working so much and hopefully I still have this van you know it's I mean, it's actually, it's approaching over 255,000 kilometers and it's working still, you know, like the transmission's working great, everything's working and maybe just, just me being cautious, you know, I, I, I don't know how long this is going to last. Oh, and see that thing there, that, that thing in the middle, that, that's actually, a, that is a light. It's, it's, it's a USB light I picked up. I think it was last year and it works really well and there it is there it is just pointed at us like wow it looks so it look it just looks so cool lights are cool so if you if you haven't seen much of my YouTube I've got an entire playlist of stuff one of them one of the ones that I posted that I didn't think I was gonna post was the one about uh, getting older the realization that I'm getting older and I made a post in the, I think it was called Home on Wheels Alliance in the Facebook group and I got some really good ideas because one of the questions I've always wondered is, let's say at some point we're all going to get older, but then you can't drive anymore. Let's say, you know, your, your eyesight isn't as sharp as it used to be. You know, what are you going to do? You know, what is the end game? You know, you can't keep driving forever, right? At some point we all get old. And this might be a very depressing type of subject or it might be something that, hey, you know, maybe I should look into it. I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older. As far as I know, everybody else is as well. If you're in your 20s, maybe it's not something you're going to think about. If you're in your 50s, like myself, maybe it's something you're thinking about more and more. If you're in your 30s, maybe it's a distant thing for you. But, but I also think you know planning ahead shouldn't stress you out to the point where you're you're stifled or something and again these are just thoughts in my mind and, and and there is that YouTube video that I made so you know have a look at it if you get a chance it, it, it might be helpful
what an absolutely beautiful place. open it up and we're gonna use that and there's my van build and here's where I am but, but look at those clouds behind me it looks like it's about the storm and I kind of don't mind that I wouldn't mind that at all kind of like it when it rains just out here in the country road like sort of like in the middle of nowhere sort of right and I find this place and it's got these giant trees. Absolutely beautiful. And you know what guys? You know, I'm not sure what the sound quality is gonna be like right now because it is a bit windy. I'm wondering this may be a good opportunity for me to use the lavalier, that thing that I hook on. <sighs> Granted, I can't remember where I placed it, so I'm not even sure if it's a good idea. But we'll try it out. I'll see if I can find it, okay? Because I think you probably can't hear me with all the wind, wind noise. And we just back to the van here. And I think I remember where I placed it. Should be up there somewhere. Okay, well, okay, this might be a good idea to, good time to tell you a bit about the mic system here. So there, it's USB base. So this part connects to the phone and this part via Bluetooth connects to that. And then it essentially allows me to, well, it allows me to speak and then the, the microphone will pick it up and apparently it's that much better. So we're going to try it out. So let's try this out. I think it's working. It's testing. One, two, three, testing. Is it working? I think so. You could probably, hopefully you can hear me better. Testing. Okay, hopefully it's recording. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. So I've got that USB mic. And it's like really, I'm at this area where sort of like this country field and it looks it looks really good out here but you know i, I just heard the the test and it's, it sounds somewhat muffled and i'm not sure if it's supposed to sound muffled but then again maybe it's better than what i had before i'm not sure you guys tell me let me know if what i had before was better or maybe it was more muffled or the, right now the mic that i'm using if it's that much better, uh, let me know. Well, I'm starting to feel some raindrops, so it's probably going to rain very soon. Look, it's starting to rain. You can see the raindrops and you know even for myself anytime I open up my minivan and I kind of peek inside I'm thinking wow what really is going on in here like this is just I mean in some cases sometimes I wonder I wonder if it's like totally over the top but even if it was I'm okay with it you know I, I really am okay with it I'm okay with the over the top look because I, I I like it However, for now, I'm going to go inside our minivan, the minivan, while holding this camera. Okay. I just, and we've got that nice view. Turn it 
turn on the little fan here. There we go. Got our lights on. And maybe turn this guy on. Some of the mood, mood lights. Okay, let me show you the effect here. See these mood lights? They're so beautiful. Let's try that again. See, they just add to the ambiance of the van build. So this is a great little spot. I could hang out here for a bit. Although it, it'd be kind of cool if it kind of rained a bit, right? I, there's something really cozy and comfy about, about rain. Although when it rains, especially in the summertime, I have to close up the windows and then, you know, I don't want to run my engine and turn on my air conditioner, but I do have an air conditioner. I have a 12 volt mini AC, but then what happened was uh, Rigid HVAC, the company sent me their next version, which I completely appreciate. And the great thing about it is, well, there's a few things off the top of my head. Uh, one, it's still 12 volt, but I understand they also carry a 24 volt and a 12 volt, 24 volt milk mix. So that's good. Uh, in terms of power supply and there's like you know how powerful it is the one that i have the miniaturized ac the 12 volt the, the current one that i have it's approximately 1500 btu the new one is just under 2400 btu so that's definitely much better in terms of being able to provide more power more cooling power right and it comes with these two really powerful fans and that's a huge deal because it can push the cool air out and when I did try it out, I created a, a, an unboxing video. When I did try it out, it was very powerful. And I have tried it out a couple of times. I didn't properly exhaust it out. But even then, I could tell that it's, it's definitely, well, well, the other one was, was a good spot cooler. This one, the new one, is eons better. Like, there's, it's that much better. You know, what can you expect, right? A thousand plus BTU more. Now, now the other thing I liked about it, the other thing I liked about it was that it it came in its own case. The first one, the 12 volt, the, the one that was about 1500 BTU, didn't have its own case. So you, I sort of have to, I had to build one around it. Uh, now the advantage to that is I can put it anywhere. This one here, I can pretty much put it anywhere because it doesn't come with this like very like funky curvy type of case. It's square. It's like a box. So that opens up the possibility of me being able to place it anywhere and it would snugly fit. So that's a huge deal for me. And seeing it is getting a bit cooler, like, I mean, like today is actually hot. It's actually, it's about 31 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty hot. There's a bit of a breeze and it's, you know, it's, it's been raining intermittently every so often, but I can see it being extremely useful next summer. And if you're, anywhere that is just always hot like maybe texas and arizona and places like that uh, this this would probably be a very good spot cooler you know there are other spot coolers out there and i i'm sure they they're they've got their own thing but this one here it's it's different for me uh, one because it, it's got it's it's square i think that's what i really like about it is that it's square it's uh, there's a lot of configurations that i can pull with it it doesn't have it it doesn't come with its own like proprietary battery system and i'm not sure if the other the other types would have their own proprietary battery system i think that's that's one thing uh, that i notice is the uh any other type of 12 volt ac or 24 volt ac uh, you sort of have to buy from them in terms of the battery or they they sell i think they sell some kind of adapter i'm not sure the, the one that Rigid HVAC sent to me, I could hook it up to any type of battery, which is a huge deal. So, well, you know, we'll see where this goes. Um, I'm excited to see how much, you know, how much better it is. Well, wait, it is, it is much better, but I'm, I'm excited to see how much better it is in terms of like me integrating it into this van build. And that's another thing. There's a possibility that I might integrate it in my next van build, my new one.
you know, sometimes doing nothing is exactly what you need to do. Anyway, I am going to go and I'm going to do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye. And remember, you are awesome.